they've decided to have an interim title fight sure. between Yoel Romero and Robert Whitaker. Who do you think is going to win that fight? Whitaker. How do you think he's going to win? Uh, Romero, okay, listen, I'm going to say he has a problem with his gas tank, which he does. People say, oh yeah, but he still knocks everybody out in the third round. That's because generally people, for some bizarre reason, try and out-wrestle him. They try and wrestle him to make him tired. Whitaker isn't going to try and out-wrestle him. I think he, he's smart enough to know, A, that he can't out-wrestle him, and B, as an Australian, he should definitely know that. I know myself as an Englishman, <laughs> I'm not going to try and out-wrestle a Cuban gold medalist. You know, that would just be stupid. Whitaker's going to keep it on his feet. Whitaker's young, he's got great cardio, he's got good conditioning, he's got excellent footwork, he's fast on his feet. I think he's going to dance around the octagon. He's going to frustrate him, and as the fight wears on and Romero slows down, um, I think he'll get the finish in rounds four or five. Will you be there? Yes, I'll be there working the, uh, the Fox desk. Uh, may the best man win, of course. Although, if Romero wins, that doesn't make him the best man. Is it difficult to know that he is in the position to fight for an interim no. title? No, I, I, I'd love to fight Yoel Romero. I'd love, listen, people look at him, is he a, an athletic freak? Yeah, has he, has he got like a, you know, an intimidating looking physique? Yes, D does a real fighter give a damn about that? I don't look at someone and go, ooh, he's got big muscles. He's got big muscles, he must be really hard. He must be really tough because he's got big muscles. No, we're all gonna fight, okay? I fought many guys with big muscles over the course of my career. That does not intimidate me. I look at Yo Romero and see somebody that's very beatable. Uh, a guy that, you know, a lot of people have been beating, you know, until they made mistakes. Now, fair play, he capitalized on those mistakes. Derek Brunson was beating him. Lots of people can beat him, but then they make mistakes. I think Whitaker beats him. I would love to fight Yoel as well. He doesn't scare me one little bit. I, I, and it, that's not me sounding tough. That's, I would assume most of the people in the UFC roster have that attitude. That's what you have to have as a fighter. You don't look at them and be scared, you know? So, uh, yeah, bring it on.